Yo, 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 what's up fam? Thanks once again for tuning into the channel. So this is Kissel, where we talk about things about sneakers, lifestyle travel, and a little bit of everything in between. And today you can see what we're gonna be talking about this beauty of a sneaker here. And this is the Nike ACG Moccasin in the 3.5 uh, version. So let's get it. So as you can see, uh, this is a probably not a very, the most spectacular shoe that I will be reviewing for you guys, but uh, it's, it is pretty, how do I say? I, I do highly recommend them. And a little disclaimer, obviously, if they look a little small, it's because they belong to my wife, they're not mine. I was actually gonna buy them, but then my my wife was with me, and then she was like, you never buy me shoes anymore, and all this kind of stuff. So I ended up, I was like, okay, fine, all right. So I ended up buying this in her size, because I wanted to review these, but since she got them already, I just, uh, I didn't worry about buying my own size. And the re main reason is that because I have the 3.0 version uh, already, in my uh, collection so i will be doing a little bit of a comparison uh later on and uh but yeah let's talk uh, about this um sneaker right here one of its greatest features is that it is like convertible and when i say that it is first you can see that it's like a shoe there and then bang like that turns into a slip on <laughs> very very useful probably say that it's probably the best thing to use like when you're around the campfire area and all that kind of stuff relaxing and resting this is the kind of shoe that you want to be wearing especially around the campfire where sometimes you need to go in and out of the the tent and all that kind of stuff and you don't want to be kind of hassling to put your shoes on all that kind of stuff you can just easily slide in and out of this one and if you need to walk around you can just basically put your heel inside of that and then it's a shoe Right again, if you know what I'm talking about. Very, very kind of uh, versatile. That's why I really, really wanted to do this one because also a couple of guys were asking me to do a review on this Air Moccasin 3.5. You need like a, a pair of shoes like this in your collection, uh, especially after a, a really long day of hiking, or let's say if you ran a marathon, these are the kind of uh, shoes that you want to be sleeping on because they're so comfy, so easy to wear. They just work really well after like, your feet are really really tired or have been really damaged from like a lot of uh, vigorous exercise and all that kind of stuff so these are the babies you want to put on your feet you can see that the upper i'm not really sure what the upper is made of but it feels like it's so, so, sort of similar to the 3.0s but it feels like, like sort of like a ballistic uh material like the ones that you use on ballistic vests and all that kind of stuff or like it's like parachute material because they, they got that they got that sound <laughs> when you scratch on it and all this kind of stuff, which I believe is like, you know, it's, it's a nice looking one, like more shiny. And on the mud guard there, you can see it's got this really nice plush tumbled leather out on the mud guard area right there with a tick, white tick. And uh, you can see that there's also like the back, the heel counter area that is, uh, it's, it's almost like a satin uh, ballistic material that's stretchy if that makes sense and you can see that it's got the Nike CG symbol at the back and at the bottom very very simple two rubber outsoles or two rubber panel outsoles so one here one here and then everything else is pretty much the foam midsole uh, material you can use it for like casual when you're going out to the groceries and all that kind of stuff meeting up with friends but I definitely would recommend something better or something different if you are going to be doing some physical exercise because uh, this is I reckon it's only good for like stopping and starting so you know kind of thing because you got it at the front and at the back kind of thing but yeah it's, it's very uh, it, you can't use it for a lot of things but you can use it for a lot of things as well what I don't really recommend this for physical exercise but definitely when you're chilling out and all that kind of stuff these are the ones that you want to be wearing bro these are really nice so they came in a lot of different colors uh, they came in the black, I know they came in an orange, there's also a green version and, and this colorway as well. There could be more coming out in the future and they came out for like around 140 Australian dollars retail. So uh, I think there's still a lot of stock available. So if, you, if you're on the fence of getting one, if you have slippers and all that kind of stuff, maybe you don't need this. But if you're looking for a, a convertible sneaker slip on shoe, this is the one that you want to go for. $140 is not that big of a price and it's got Nike ECG on it. Uh, just a little uh, note, I don't think this is uh, waterproof, so keep that in mind. So if you are going to wear it and it does get wet, um, yeah, it might seep through uh, into the sneaker. Now let's go into and do a comparison with the 3.0s. That's the comparison, as you can see there. Uh, ooh, it's not that much big of a difference in size, but this is a size 9 in men and this is a size 6 in women's, I think. 
So yeah, that's what they look like. So as you can see, there's not much of a difference. The main difference is that you can see on this one is that it's only got one pull tab, like one big pull tab. The other one is just a, like a little small one, mini one at the back. Whereas with the uh, 3.0s, you can see that there's two long ones there. I'm gonna go into, ahead and say that you probably don't need the, the back one to be that long anyway, um, because you're gonna be just like slipping your foot in. And what I generally do is I put my finger inside and pull this back and then get my heel in. That's what I usually do anyway, uh, in terms of like putting this shoe on. I never like look for the, the back uh, <laughs> you know, tab and uh, to try to get my foot in that way. Now I never go that way, so it doesn't really make a difference. But in terms of, the, you can see that the, um, the material is very, very similar. Uh, this one just looks a little bit more, well, I guess new. I don't know if it, the, uh, what's it like, you know, the dirtiness of this one. Uh, makes this, this one look better, but it's a little bit more shiny compared to the older one. And uh, as you can see the back, um, you know, they still got sort of similar detailing. The, the underneath as well is pretty much the same. I was always wondering what this thing, this little panel here was, but I really don't think it really does do anything. It's not like a ventilation panel or anything because the, um, the 3.5s don't have it. Uh, I would like to say though, when you look on the inside, it's pretty hard to see. Uh, you can't really see the inside of the uh, 3.5s, but it's like, it's pretty much the same material. Whereas when you look into the 3.0s, see that material there? That goes on the inside of the whole thing. So the inside is something that you're looking for. I would rather go for the 3.0s than the um, 3.5s because it feels like it's got that more plush uh, cushiony um, material on the inside of the lining compared to the uh, the 3.5 so uh, just a little bit of a note there uh, but yeah it's it's pretty much the same sneaker they bro they're both not waterproof but only the back is different you can see the design of this one how it's got the um, like yeah you, know, you could still wear it like this as a slip on and everything like that but it's the design is like you know it's like to make the opening bigger, they had to have this like little slit here. And you can see there, it kind of broke. It broke already. That was supposed to be attached to that. So uh, just probably keep that in mind. That's why this one could be a better one for you guys if you really like it. Because it's not detached. There's nothing um, kind of... There's no two separate pieces here. It's just one whole big one, which uh, strengthens the material. So if you want to get in and out of it, uh, this one will probably last a lot longer without any damage. So yeah, that's pretty much my review for these two uh, comparisons for the 3.5 Moccasin. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a really good uh, little nifty sneaker if you're in the market for one. So definitely have a look for it. Um, I'm going to tell you guys, it's not the best, most comfortable sneaker, but it is very useful if you go do that kind of stuff like camping, where you want to get in and out of like a dirty place like a, not a dirty place, if you want to go in and out of your tent, something like that, uh, really quickly without too much hassle, or get in, in, get in and out of your house really quickly, like put these by the door or something like that to get the groceries or something like that, these are a great sneaker. And when I tried this one on, I would generally say that uh, a lot of people say it fits big. So uh, I usually tell them it's supposed to be, it feels better when it's a little bit bigger because at least you can put like a thick sock inside when it's cold and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, it, you know, it can make you, it can make it like wearing these a little bit more comfortable in the colder weather and, um, and all that kind of stuff. So this one, I would probably say it's the same, uh, it just stay true to size, but if you want it to be a little bit more snug, maybe go half a size down. Uh, definitely always go and check it out for yourself guys in store if you want a better fit that's the best way I can recommend for you guys as as always uh, because uh, Nike CG shoes I get so many comments all the time oh what's a fit for me it should be a half a size bigger and all that kind of stuff but everyone's got different size feet guys and um, yeah I can only recommend as best as I can in my opinion because uh, yeah because I don't have every foot I have a wide foot that's kind of bigger on the side than shorter on the on the length side so yeah that's that's the best way i can actually um recommend for you guys to actually go into the store and try it on for yourself anyway guys i hope you kind of learned something from this one and it will help you make up your mind in terms of if you're going to get the 3.0s or the 3.5s definitely go check it out online if you get the 3.0s for a better deal definitely go for them because i don't think the the differences are that big that you know, it's it's gonna be like a game changer or anything because they're both great shoes. If you get this one brand new, definitely go for it. If you get the three point O's for a good price, go for that as well. Anyway, guys, thanks for once again watching this video. I hope you learned something. Please give me that big thumbs up if you like the content, and please subscribe to the channel if you like Nike ACG stuff. 
in general uh, and please if you do all that kind of good stuff comment and uh, give likes it helps uh, YouTube to promote my stuff to other people that like my KCG stuff so all those good vibes happening anyway guys thanks once again for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one peace